It's me and my mama. We just came across Rainbow, so we about to head on in there and see what we can find. Ladies, I found some amazing deals at Rainbow. I got six versatile dresses for just $5 each. Now these dresses can go from casual to elegant, proving that you don't have to spend a lot to look and feel fabulous. I want to start off by saying that we cannot ignore the impact of fast fashion on the environment. It's a significant concern and we all need to find that balance between supporting the environmental movements and addressing human realities. I get it, it's important to feel okay with expressing ourselves, but we do have to be mindful of our choices. Now, in the current state of the economy, guys, fast fashion has become a valuable resource for so many. It offers affordable options to us and allows us to express ourselves and keep our wardrobes fresh without breaking the bank. Now today, I am going to share with you the six awesome dresses that I found. And I'm also going to share with you six tips to help you make the most of your inexpensive clothing while maintaining quality and most importantly, y'all, style. Now, the first thing I want you guys to look for when you are shopping in uh, these stores is to choose your thicker fabrics opt for the thicker non-see-through materials this is going to ensure that you get better coverage and your piece of clothing your article of clothing is going to be more durable this will make the clothing look a little bit more expensive and on the plus side of this, it's also going to allow your clothes to last longer. If you look here at this dress, um, I'm showing you this at a different angle. I want you to see that no matter how the light hits this dress, you are not able to see through it at all. Um, you also have a lot of the camouflaging help um, with a thicker material you're not able to see some of the problem areas that you normally would in a tighter fitting dress like this had the material been thinner we are going to keep with the color red here this time we are going to go longer with the dress and we also have this unusual cut up top. This adds a lot of playfulness, a lot of fun to the dress. Um, you've got this A-line going on with the shoulder cut out here. This just really elevates the look of this dress. It's not you're just humdrum dress anymore with these added details you also have the side split in this dress this dresses the dress up adds that element of sexiness to it absolutely love this look I have this dress just with a pair of cute flip-flops here. I'm keeping this look very, very casual. However, it would be very easy to bring this dress up by adding a pair of cute heels, nice heels with this. You would want to add your bling bling jewelry with this and having done that you will have created a look that would be great for a night out on the town or an event that requires you to be in an evening gown now tip number two when you are looking through these stores and getting ready to make your purchase be sure to check the stitching you want to inspect that stitching to make sure you've got neatness going on there to make sure you've got the strength well constructed 
connected um, seams, that's going to indicate better quality and it's going to prevent your garment from falling apart quickly. Okay, ladies? So check those stitches. All right, ladies, we are going to move on to dress number three. This is a beautiful color. This purple, it just jumped out at me when I walked past it. I knew I had to grab this dress and bring her home. Now, this leads me into tip number three. I want you ladies to look for pieces that are versatile. You want to select items that you can easily, and I mean easily, transition from something casual to something more elegant. Now, having these versatile pieces of clothing, it's going to allow you to really maximize your wardrobe. It's going to alleviate you needing to buy so many pieces. Now, once again, this dress, I have it just paired with another pair of cutesy flip-flops. This is generally how I'm going to wear a dress like this. But when I saw this color, I thought of a Purple Heart Award a ceremony that we need to attend in the future or the purple heart dinner that we go to yearly and so for that event I will take a dress just like this and I will just dress it up for the occasion um, more than likely I will have the hair in an updo I will have on some nice earrings um, a necklace and I will go ahead and add a nice shoe, a nice heel to this. But most importantly, I will add an outer layer to this. Um, some sort of shawl or something to cover the arms. Um, either way, I'm going to have that outer layer with this. And it's just going to completely change the look on an otherwise normal everyday sundress. And if you notice, once again, the material on this dress is thicker. So you don't notice those areas of cellulite or things of that nature that you would otherwise notice in the thinner material. All right, we are going to move right on along here to dress number four. This is what I call my pretty in pink look. Um, pink for a long time was a color I just kind of stayed away from. Um, I guess I associated it with, you know, little girls or whatever. But as I've gotten older, I've grown to just embrace color. Um, this color makes me happy and so I choose to wear it now. It's just a happy-go-lucky color. I see why it's associated with little girls and just happy fun things. Um, but this dress, what I want you guys to know is that I picked it because I was going for the classic cut. Sometimes you just need to go with the timeless classic cuts. They tend to look a little more sophisticated and they can be styled in multiple ways. With this dress, you just have your spaghetti straps that are adjustable, this nice uh, slit here that, like I said, elevates any dress and just adds that touch of sexiness. You'll want to avoid overly trendy pieces that are just going to go out of style um, and usually tend to go out of style very quickly. If you take your time and just look around, like I said, for the items that are made of the thicker material and that are put together well, you can pull that item out year after year 
and wear it year after year. And also, if it's a versatile piece, you'll pull it out multiple times. And with classic cuts, that definitely tends to be the case. Okay, we are just making our way right on through this haul. We are at dress number five. Um, with dress number five, it is your classic little black dress. Um, like the other off the shoulder dress, I love that detail. So yes, I got it in black also. But what I wanted to focus on was I want us to pay attention to the fit. Um, make sure that when we buy clothing, guys, that we pay attention to how well it fits us. Um, if it doesn't fit us well, we aren't going to want to pull it out and wear it again. Um, or if it's something that can't be easily altered, then we've spent that money just to have something sitting in our closet. So you definitely, definitely want to go for the items that are going to give you a good fit. A good fit is going to enhance your appearance, guys. It's going to make something that is considered, for the most part, inexpensive look practically tailored and more chic should I say. I never want us curvy mature ladies thinking that just because we have a little more extra cushion that we need to sacrifice style and wear all this extra material. We don't need to be putting ourselves in frumpy clothes ladies. It's okay to wear clothes that fit our bodies. Um, and be proud of your body when you are wearing those clothes. You look amazing. It's just you have to take a little bit more care to ensure that you are looking put together. So no, we don't want anything hanging out of our clothes <laughs> that's not supposed to be hanging out. But we also don't want to be walking around looking like we are wearing fitted sheets either. So the fit is important. Moving on to the last dress, ladies. Let's talk about something that speaks volumes when it comes to fashion and can dramatically change the vibe of your outfit. And that is the color. Colors have the power to influence our mood and how others perceive us. Wearing vibrant colors can convey confidence and energy, while the softer colors like the pastels can evoke a sense of calmness and elegance. And then you have your neutrals like your blacks and your whites and your beiges that can just be dressed up or down. They're just very versatile. So when you are shopping at places with affordable fashion, don't be afraid to play with your colors. Find what complements your skin tone. Find what makes you feel good. Mixing and matching different colors can help you create this polished and cohesive wardrobe you just got to play around remember guys it's not always about the price tag it's about how the clothes make you feel and the statement that you want to make when i saw this dress i knew that i would be wearing this dress in particular to celebrate my 47th birthday in, which was just a few days ago. So I bought this dress for a reason, knowing that I had a purpose for it and knowing that I was going to be wearing this dress again because I love, love, love the color. So once again, ladies, don't be afraid to play with your colors. 
go bold and bright with hues that make a statement or you could stay neutral and sophisticated with pieces that are just timeless and give you that timeless look either way ladies i want you to look good i want you to feel good and i want you to feel good about your choices i hope that my six tips will offer up a little relief from any moral dilemma you may be facing the next time you go shopping but either way remember it's not about how much you spend it's about how you feel and what you are wearing embrace your unique style ladies and i will see you next week